Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the Coast Star, the official newspaper of the Borough of Belmar and Asbury Park Press on December 22nd, 2021, and notice of this meeting was posted on the Bolton Board of Municipal Building. Take roll call, Councilman Brennan. Here. Councilman McKinney. Here. Mayor Walsper. Here. Councilman McGregor. Here. Councilman Carvelli. Here. Thank you, April. Uh, we're going to join in saluting the flag of our great nation. <coughs> Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If everybody could just remain standing for a minute uh, to recognize our troops, their families, and all our first responders. Thank you. First thing uh, on the workshop, we're going to have to. Uh, we're going to go to executive session uh, uh, just for a few minutes. Um, uh, so, April, if you want to read the resolution sure. first, go ahead. Uh, resolution authorizing executive session, whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas there was adequate notice to the public of this meeting. And whereas the borough council is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, now therefore be it resolved by the borough council as follows: the public shall be excluded from discussion and action upon the hearing after specified subject matter. The general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is litigation. Minutes will be kept of the closed session. It is anticipated at this time that the above subject matter will be made public when the need for confidentiality no longer exists, and this resolution shall take effect effect immediately. Do we have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. Councilman Brennan? Aye. Councilman McKinney? Aye. Mayor Walsper? Yes. Councilman Craig? Yes. Councilman Carvelli? Yes. Okay, we should be back in about 10 minutes. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. They are in closed session. They'll be back in about ten minutes. We will keep the live going not to disrupt the feed, so feel free, go grab a cup of coffee, and come on back. They'll be back in closed session in just a little bit. Thank you.
back and um, let's see, we have Lorraine here is going to go over uh, best practices, Lorraine. Best practices. The best practice survey is required by the Department of Community Affairs who oversees municipal operations in the state. Um, every year, they, for the last five or six years, they've come out with a series of questions that um, are scored. And if you don't meet a minimum score requirement, then they can withhold up to 5% of your annual allotment of state aid. So I'm happy to report that out of the 36 scored questions, mm -hmm. the borough received a score of 30. So our state aid is uh, guaranteed for this year. Um, some of the questions are very esoteric and not necessarily related to the practical aspects of operating municipality, but it's what the state calls important. So we, the I believe that they'll be posted on the website. Um, they have already been submitted to the state because they were required to be there by November 10th. So we have complied with that requirement. Okay, thank you. So we're pretty good. Today. Thank you. Do you have any questions going on? No, I'm just right. I just want well, to thank you for doing such a great job with this. So, you, the, the audit report, the audit report guide, it always comes with a couple of pages. Well, it usually comes with several pages at the end of the document about what you should fix. And we only had what five, six items. That was it. Not even a page. Thank really great. Thank, thank you. you. Moving on, April, we have any petitions? Uh, no, I did not receive any. Okay. Approval of the minutes for uh, November 1st. Can we have a motion to approve the November 1st minutes? Motion. Second. Okay, Councilman Brennan? Yes. Councilman McKinney? Yes. <laughs> Mayor Lester? Yes. Councilman McCracken? Yes. Councilman Carvelli? I'm saying. So I'd like to congratulate the uh, successful candidates here in the borough, both for the school board and for the council on their victories and wish them the best of luck. Um, I'd also like to thank the Belmar Fishing Club for celebrating our 150th anniversary on uh, November 5th. Um, they hosted a Warren Plums party that benefited um, autism, actually, the uh, Circle of Friends. Uh, and uh, almost $10,000 was raised by that organization for, for that group. So uh, that was a nice night here in the borough um, for a very good cause. Um, I had a work conflict um, with the um, uh, event that was held here in the borough to honor our veterans. So at this point, I'd just like to take uh, a moment to thank them for their service, and I certainly regret that I couldn't be uh, here that day uh, in the borough to honor them. Um, the, I also took right before uh, uh, the Thanksgiving holiday uh, short vacation, so unfortunately I missed the Shade Tree Commission Mayor. I don't have an update on that this evening. Um, and lastly, last weekend was Thanksgiving weekend. I hope everybody had a safe holiday and was able to spend some quality time with their family and reflect on what a great country we live in, how blessed we are to be uh, Belmartian, and uh, had an opportunity to, to focus on all the good things that we have here uh, in our lives and in our borough and everything we have to be thankful for. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Brown. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I don't have too much. There was an environmental commission meeting. They're still talking about 
um, the collecting plastic film that was discussed, we discussed at our last council meeting. Um, I spoke to the vendor that I had been talking to, and they're not interested in a single point pickup at our uh, recycling center. So I gave his contact information to the Environmental Commission, and they can, I think they'll probably ask him to come and talk to them, and he'll get some input from them. Mm -hmm. And I think they'll make a recommendation to us about whether we should, um, you know, pursue the opportunity. It's the same company that made the uh, arrangements with Bradley Beach two years ago, and we've gotten a lot of feedback about it. It's positive and negative, so that's one of the reasons we want to talk to this fellow. Uh, hopefully, we can work something out, but we're not going to be able to do the recycling plastic film at the uh, recycling center. So. Yes, <laughs> to the haters we go. That's right. Yes. <laughs> um, the Tourism Commission did not meet because there was no quorum, and the Harbor Commission did meet, and it's pretty much what Councilman Carbelli was talking about. They're doing a lot of work over there, and uh, it's really moving right along. They're really pretty much at capacity, which is, if you've been watching the conditions of the arena over the last seven, eight, nine years, it's really it turned around tremendously. It's uh, It was not full, put it that way, and now it pretty much is. And one of the other item I wanted to note, it's not necessarily a committee meeting, but there will be a fundraising concert this Sunday at Taylor Pavilion to raise money for the piano in Piano Plaza. If you haven't heard about this already, the piano is a uh, outdoor concrete special thing, will be the first one in the entire United States, and it'll be here in Belmar, and it would be dedicated to Dave Sanchez and his mom. Those of you who might not know, Dave Sanchez was one of the original members of the E Street Band, Bruce Springsteen, <coughs> he lived on E Street, that's the name of the band, blah, blah, blah. Um, the concert starts around noon on Sunday at Taylor Pavilion. Uh, they're advertising on social media. You can go to belmararts.org and order your tickets there. My band will be playing, Hat Roddy's going to play, Danny White's going to play, Tommy LaBelle's going to play. It's a great lineup. If you have nothing to do on Sunday afternoon, if you're not a football fan, please come over and see us. Thank you. That's my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, so we haven't, the, the next ADA meeting is not going to be until the first of the year. So we decided this, the complex we're going to meet in January to be determined. Uh, recreation, a couple things. Winter basketball had a really big turnout this year, especially the second and fourth grade division. And we want to thank um, everyone who sponsored five young ladies, five young girls who needed help with their recreation fees who are now able to play basketball. So thank you to everyone who helped with that. Uh, the Belmar Christmas tree lighting is this Friday, December 2nd. Uh, at 5.30, the Belmar Elementary Chorus will perform, followed by the tree lighting around 6, and then Santa will arrive shortly after. That's all in Piano Plaza. The Hanukkah Menorah lighting is Monday, December 19th at 5.30, also in Piano Plaza. And chair yoga, regular yoga, all-around fitness, all is going on swimmingly at Taylor Pavilion. All of those are $5. They start at 9.30. Uh, no till about 11.30 in the morning. Senior pickleball is full. It is hot pickleball, I'll tell you. They're not accepting any new players as of right now. Um, I do have a quick update on the skate park. We had a, um, we learned of a, a, a local, a, a grant. There's a $25 million grant for recreation that, it, the, that the governor approved for recreation programs. It's called the Local Recreation Improvement Grant. Each municipality will be able to apply for up to $100,000. And so we have started the wheels in motion to get our application in. That has to be in by January. And hopefully, if we get this funding, it will be, in my hope, earmarked to work towards our skate park. So that is news that is exciting, and hopefully we'll have a good chunk of money to work towards that. A um, couple things happening around the school. St. Rose High School is doing a shop and sip at Bungalow Road, ladies, this Thursday, 5 to 8, raises money for PTA, for the St. Rose High School PTA. This Saturday, this is actually a really good event. If you have clothing, they're doing a huge clothing drive in the church, church parking lot. Anything you want to get rid of, really, towels, sheets, clothing of all sizes, plush toys, all of that stuff, they're going to take it in the church parking lot from eight to 10. They distribute uh, to all those in need 
and it's weighed. So what they weigh is they get money by the pound. So that's a good kind of fundraiser for the high school. There were a lot of really big sports wins in the high school. Cross country, overall state champions, non-public B. Volleyball, all around state division champion. Girls soccer, advanced to the second round of the Shore Conference. Girls field hockey, finished 15 and one and earned the title of B Central Champs for the third year. And boys soccer, B Central Champs and won non-public B. So that was all in the high school. They did a really, really good job. St. Rose Grammar School also won boys soccer, mom public B, mom at the Ocean County Parochial State Champ or Ocean uh, County Champs. And St. Rose Grammar School is having their Christmas concert and art show on December 9th at 7 p.m. That's in the church. Belmont Elementary also won boys soccer MCAL championship. That was at the beginning of the month. They beat uh, Spring, uh, Spring Lake Heights and they won their chance. So everybody killed it in soccer this year. Uh, and then Belmar Elementary School's winter concert is December 15th at 6.30 in the auditorium. And that's what we're going to talk Thank you. I just have a couple things. First, I'd, I'd like to congratulate Jerry Martin and Roy for the win. Um, and uh, we're going to wish them the best of luck taking over in January. Mm -hmm. um, I know Jody mentioned the tree lighting, and I just want to mention that uh, the Friendly Sons of Shillelagh donated the tree this year. The trees were really were expensive this year. They went from like 500 to 2,500, and uh, the friends of the Shillelagh stepped up and uh, donated the tree for it. So we really, really want to thank them. Um, uh, we got the delivery today of the new six handicap uh, beach chairs. So that'll give us a total of 12 in. We got 10 now, and we're hoping that the future we get the other 10. I know that uh, Bill Musco and his crew are going to also build the lockers that we had funding for. And I want to thank Finance for doing what they did to get that uh, accomplished. That at least ten shares moving into 2023 beach season. Yes, so that that um, that'll really help our uh, special needs community on the beach. So that's good that we got those delivered today. Um, December 10th starts. Uh, we're, we're putting on the light show um, for from the 10th to the. December 30th every night, two, two shows a night, 5.30 and 7.30, um, to try to uh, get people down to our Main Street area for, for the holiday season. So uh, the light show, uh, which is new this year, is going to start on December 10th, and it'll go to December 30th. So it's two shows a night. Um, if anybody wants to go down there and see the light show at the Anna Plaza. I think that all I have. So. All right, we're going to move on to uh, public session on any of your resolution items. If anyone from the public would like to speak on a resolution listed on the agenda, please come forward, state your name and address. Uh, Tom Delberger, 1000 River Road. I, I hope I'm talking about the right thing here. I'm talking about number 2022-196. Is that a resolution you consider a resolution? Yes. Yes? Yes, mm -hmm. yes that's a resolution. Okay, I'd like to talk about that. Now, Jean here just read me out the list of the people that are excluded under the idea of nepotism. Do you have that list of the people that are excluded? Do you have that list of, of different relatives? Right in front of me? Do, no. do no. any of you have the list here now? No. They never heard of that list. Oh, <laughs> it's quite extensive anyway. Very extensive. It goes back up quite a ways. Now, I'm old and I don't understand a lot of things. But along the way, I thought I heard something about you can't penalize people because of their, their religion, their sex, their this, their that, the other thing. But now, we're, with this resolution, we seem to be penalizing people because of who their relatives are. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. Okay, well, who said that? I said that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Tell us 
so what the, right, so as what you are. Yeah. Absolutely, sir. So the purpose of the mechanism policy is in order to trigger um, the ability to enter into the, exe the exemption or an exception to the civil service requirement for hiring uh, police officers outside of the list. So essentially, and in a nutshell, if there are any of the what's, it's kind of a draconian word of saying prohibited relationships that already exist between the borough of Gilmore, that's okay. Anything that currently exists as of today, no one can be penalized for it, but moving forward in the future, say- Then they can be penalized. No, not that they can be penalized. Say a father is the direct supervisor for a little DPW. He would not be able to just hire his son to work for him. There would have to be an, there would have to be a process. Because his son would have to be hired by somebody who's not a supervisor. Stop for a second. Is there a process already? No. Now anybody, the way it exists today, anybody can be hired by the borough of Belmar with Tom, regardless of relationship or, or not. There is no no process in the hiring of a person for DPW at, at this time. In terms of nepotism, correct. I mean, is there some sort of qualification? Is there are there well, qualifications involved? Certainly, involved? they would have to be approved. Any individual would have to be approved. So are there a council. list of qualifications that the person has to measure up to, let's say, to be eligible to work for for the DPW? If he's talking about anybody, yes, we do have that. Yes. Yes. Okay. There's the answer. Yes. The mayor yeah, gave us the answer. Very good. Now. In the future, if person A measures up to these, these uh, qualifications, but he happens to be a, a relative of somebody who is working on, let's say, the DPW, is he automatically out? No. Can, or can he apply anyway? He can still apply. He's not automatically out. Okay. Patrick, just so I can clarify it. Isn't this nepotism policy only if it's in their supervisory position? That's right. exactly supervised. So, like, if you have a brother that's already working in DPW and another brother applies and he's not a supervisor, then it, it's not a problem. It's only if the chief of police decides to hire a son, then the chief of police cannot hire the son, his son. There's a and that process would go, to go through. That would go through all of the different groups, like the police and everything else, right? Correct. All right. All right. That takes care of that. Thanks. Anyone else? All right. April, saying none. Can I have a motion to close the public session? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Can I have a motion to approve the resolutions as listed on the consent agenda? I'll make the motion. Go ahead. Motion. Second. Okay. Councilman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Kinney? Yes. Mayor Wilson Yes. Councilman Brown Yes. Councilman Cardone? Yes. Uh, next is first reading and introduction on Ordinance 2022-20. This is an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 5, Department of Public Safety of the Borough of Belmar, Section 2.1, Appointment and Qualifications, Authorizing the Participation in the Civil Service Examination Exemption Program for Entry-Level Law Enforcement Positions. Um, this is being offered for first reading and introduction. Do we have a motion to approve? Motion. Right. Okay, Councilman Brennan? Yes. Councilman McKinney? Yes. Mayor Walsenberg? Yes. Councilman McCracken? Yes. Councilman Carmelli? Yes. Yeah. Okay, on the public session. Anybody have anything to say, Linda? Linda Sharpest, 4th Avenue. Uh, this morning I, I observed a lot of blue pipes coming into town, arriving on Inlet um, Terrace, because the um, sewer program started in that area of town. It was after a personal home. It was a truckload. They had the road closed off um, oh, right before Thanksgiving, and there seems to be a lot of construction going on there. So I was just wondering if that's part of our uh, replacement of water and sewer lines. I know they were supposed to start. <laughs> they haven't started yet. They, yeah, might be, they might be just getting everything ready to start. But as we 
us know when, when they're actually going to start that. Okay, my second question. What day were the, the Christmas lights going on in town? They should be on the first. They've already been all placed up. They okay. filled their coming going on the first. December first, yes. December first. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? <coughs> yes, Claire. <laughs> I think me um, just to elaborate on Tom, what you're saying with the uh, plastic the film, the everything, the baggies, the right. bottom bags, and everything. It's everywhere. I have a uh, recycle can on the back of, well, it's a black can because I, the other ones are too heavy. Um, with the recycle bin, uh, sticker on it, and I'll put one on the front porch so somebody doesn't have to run all the way around. <laughs> and just feel free, anybody, just drop your plastic off. And my niece takes it and donates it to, uh, or I'll, I drop it off at her wedding. And then she takes it, records it, and they're getting benches built. So feel free. Can I give you your address? Sure. 221 18th Ave, the corner of 18th and B. You can't miss it, it's well lit up right now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, no sugar in I have it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Anna Murray, 214 18th Avenue. Um, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to congratulate you and your team on all your accomplishments during your four year tenure. My husband and I have owned our home in Belmar for over 20 years and moved here permanently just four years ago. Soon after, my attention with the invitation from the Hayner sisters shifted from Board of Ed up north to town council. My husband and I were encouraged by the things you and your team were accomplishing, as well as your plans for future endeavors. I would also like to compliment all of you and your significant others on the way you've handled yourself these four years and during the campaign, a true class act. I am disappointed that you and your team will not have the opportunity to keep Belmar moving forward. With the interest of Belmar and its residents, it is my hope that this incoming governing body will not be plagued by the misinformation and disrespect that you had to endure these past four years and during your campaign. So Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you for all you've done for Belmar. It is greatly appreciated and recognized. My husband and I were fortunate during this time to get to meet a great team of people. Jody and Tom and the incoming new governing body, I wish you good luck and hope that you keep Belmar's interests first. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, Katrina. Good evening. Katrina Classes, 1304 B Street. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'd just like to, first of all, thank all of you. Um, as we know, I ran for council and lost my run, but I actually had a very, very interesting time and met so many really great people here in Belmar. And I, too, would like to um, congratulate Jerry and Mark and uh, Maria. Good luck in the future. I'll see you every two, first to third Tuesday. Um, and I'd like to thank Mark and Jim both for being my running mates and of having me come on board with you guys. It was a very positive experience. The thing I'm most proud of is that while things can get a little hairy out there in the world of the internet and all these other places, you guys were focused and we were focused on what you have accomplished through the last four years and staying in that zone instead of going anywhere negative. Ed, I think you did a fantastic job here in Belmar, regardless of what anybody else in the ether said. You were organized. So many things have gotten done. You answered every call that came your way. I think the town has a big loss in your loss. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys. 
Yes, George. Oh, he's prickly and crap. <laughs> uh, also, I just want to say that's what's great about this country. You hear all the time. You had an election, got new people coming in. You guys congratulate them, and uh, had a great time under your tenure. I love you guys. You did a lot. When I ever see the clock, now I think of you. I can't applause. They think of Mr. Keanu, of course. Kenny, I think of the Marina, and Mr. Minotti, and. Uh, Matt Doherty, I think of Hill Pavilion, the boardwalk, the hurricane. Everybody uh, does what they have to when they're up there. I would never have the guts to be up there. When I was young, I thought I would do it, but I don't know how to use computers, so that's the, that's the real downside. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna enjoy, I love working for you guys, just like the other administrations. I'm sure I'm gonna have fun working under the new administration. You guys are a class act, and it's just, I'm really happy to be working on you. Thank you. Thank, thanks, for, thanks for everything you thanks. do. Thanks, Floyd. Yes, David. I am Kevin Maypother. I'm representing the Belmore Arts Council here. Councilman Brennan took a lot of what I had to say ahead of time, <laughs> but I just want to, you know, thank you for a few moments of your time. Um, I'm here to invite everybody in town to come to our first fundraiser, uh, which will be on Sunday at Taylor Pavilion from noon to five. A few months ago, we presented the town administration with a proposal that we facilitate um, the purchase and installation of a playable, weatherproof concert grand piano to celebrate Belmore's 150th anniversary. Um, the piano will be placed in Piano Plaza, the town center, and dedicated to the Sanchez family, who lived here in town and has probably done more to make Belmar a world travel destination than any other resident past and, and, and future. Um, for those of you who know, don't know the name Sanchez, um, they lived on E Street and David, their son, as a teenager, joined a future Rock and Roll Hall of Famer named Bruce Springsteen. Um, they practiced in his, his garage and the band became known as the E Street Band. Um, David is a lovely human being who was humbled by the thought that his hometown would honor him with a piano. Um, having the piano in town would be quite a compliment to Belmore. As Tom said, there's 350 of them in Europe right now. This will be the first one in North America. Um, uh, it will be a Wi-Fi hub in Piano Plaza, and it's set to broadcast live on the internet. So concerts and recitals will be available to anyone to see at any time. Um, you can also, in breaks, sell advertising for the town of, of, of Belmore. Um, let's see, where, where am I? Um, it comes with, uh, comes with a lifetime guarantee. It can be tuned remotely. And knowing the challenges that we have with our summer, our seasonal visitors, um, we discussed with the manufacturer to have a nanotechnology coating put on it so it's graffiti resistant. Mm -hmm. um, you can't stop them from writing on it, but it will be able to be washed away. Um, mm -hmm. The representative of the manufacturer met with members of the administration and the, the town council and, mm -hmm. and the, the, uh, the arts council and satisfied all of our questions as far as you know what their guarantees were. Um, the BAC is a community-centered organization um, whose mission statement was to make life better in Belmore through the arts. We think that this fulfills our, our, our mission statement well. Um, and encourage everyone to, to be a part of it. Um, if you can't make the, the, the benefit, look at our website, as Tom said, it's belmorearts.org. You can find more information about David, you can find more information about the piano, you can find more information about local arts. We encourage everybody to come, we encourage everybody to join. Thank you. Yes? Quick question. Um, sure. I mean, this sounds really, really cool. I'm so glad you guys are working on this. Um, do you just have a quick summary of how much it it's going to cost total, and how far you've gotten so far in fundraising. You know, something. I, I, I'm I'm just a member. I'm, I mean, I'm the point person, but I'm not a trustee, and I'm not on the board, so I don't have the facts and figures. Okay. The estimate that we came up with was seventy thousand okay. um, dollars. That covered the cost of the the piano. Um, in speaking with Ed and 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 Mayor Walsifer, um, we decided that it should be put up on a little six-inch stage just to make it a little elevated. Um, 
we talked about putting a closed circuit camera on it to make sure that there wasn't, you know, you know, it was always supervised. So that covers all of those expenses. Then the one thing that David also said is that he lives in Hawaii now. He will fly in when the piano is set up. He will play six or seven songs on the piano and actually license them to Belmar to help defray the cost of any future maintenance or whatever. Oh, well, very good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have one David, question. Okay, excuse me for a second. Okay. David will be, he's got a concert scheduled in January at the Vocal Theater Party Count Basie. Oh. And he's going to stay around for a couple of days afterwards. He said he's going to come down to Belmar. He wants to meet with the administration. And I would like both you guys and the incoming people for him to be uh, available for him to be able to meet with you and, and let him tell you what it means to him. Um, on the Delamar Arts Council website, can someone just make a donation yes. if they yes. can't come? Yeah. There's, 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 there's Venmo uh, site and there's also a site that's just set up for the Piano in the Plaza project. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. That's it. Thank and you. Ed, Mark, thank you for your help. I mean, it's cool. All right. Yeah, it will be. Thanks. Anyone else? Can I have a motion to close the public session and adjourn the meeting? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone, for coming out.